Today we are diagnosing radio as a sociopath. Uh, I know this video like the back of my hand, so I'm not going to be showing evidence, but I guarantee you it's in the movie because I've watched this movie a million times. It's my absolute favorite movie. I'm talking about the first movie, by the way, for the diagnosis. Now I pulled up this um, criteria for being a sociopath. Here are the signs right here. Ignoring social norms and laws, breaking rules at school or work, overstepping social boundaries, stealing, stalking, and harassing others, or destroying property. Well, I remember in the beginning of the film where he is literally jumping on the, the couch while they're trying to sweep underneath it. That is harassing. He literally threw Blanky, not Blanky, Lampy off, off of the, off of the bed. He literally threw him off of the bed, like the first thing that happened. So that's definitely, um, that's definitely one of them. Dishonesty and deceit, including using false identities and manipulating others for personal gain. Dishonesty is the word there. He is very dishonest about uh, famous people that he knew in the past. And he was dishonest that he knew where he was going, where he was leading the others into danger. Okay. Difficulty controlling impulsive and planning for the future or acting without considering the consequences. Yes. Throwing Lampy off of the bed um, that could have broken his bulb, you know what I mean? Um, he... Didn't know where he was going. Aggressive or aggravated behavior, including frequent fights and physical contact with others. Lampy isn't a violent person, but when he's around radio, uh, they got in fights. That that is not good. Looking for looking towards radio. Disregard for personal safety or safety of others. Yes, let's just lead them into the unknown. Just. Because I know better, and I, I know where I'm going. Difficulty managing responsibilities, including showing up at work, handling tasks, or paying rent and bills. Well, his responsibility was to lead the others. D didn't do it. Little to no guilt or remorse. A tendency to justify actions that negatively affect others. <laughs> he just said... Uh, you think too much, pal, when he threw him out over the bed. People with ASPD generally show little emotion or interest in the lives of others. They might come across as arrogant or superior. The greatest uh, sword swordsman of the land. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> come across as arrogant or superior with firm, fixed opinions. Yes, he, he he's... He said, why certainly, I'm the navigator. Um, I, <laughs> you guys will be lost without me or something like that. Use humor, intelligence, and charisma to manipulate. Yeah, he talked about the wiener dogs. Uh, seeming charming at first until their self-interest becomes clear. Yep. Generally find it challenging to retain relationships, friendships, relations, and other maintaining fulfilling connections. This culty may stem from traits like low empathy and emotional intelligence. Check. Difficult learning from mistakes. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Lack of concern or safety of others. A tendency to intimidate and threaten in order to maintain control. That's one he does not have. But it is clear he is a textbook sociopath. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. He's crying. I know where that was from, the second movie, but I it, it was like a dark it was a darkened photo, so it looked like mysterious, but that's my thoughts on radio. Um let me know if you agree, disagree, what you think. Um I'm sorry I couldn't edit uh this stuff. My editor is acting weird, but uh I just showed the evidence and that's all it really needs to be done.
Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you when you watch me again, metaphorically. This is Cartoon Central, where cartoons are meant for. Peace.